Facebook is considered one of the most innovative companies in the world. But what if I told you that Facebook rejected the founders of WhatsApp who sold their company to Facebook for $19 billion? Even the most innovative companies struggle with recognizing employee talent. People are able to do more at an older age. Because of this, the workplace has gone through a series of challenges. Concepts such as recruitment, engagement, and sometimes day-to-day -day responsibilities have fundamentally shifted. When you have one organization, it's best to have them all on the same page. And if they're on the same page, it doesn't matter what age they are, they're working with in the bandwidth and they're able to contribute to the overall mission of the organization. Please welcome Jeff Butler. Hi, I'm Jeff Butler and I grew up in Silicon Valley in the heart of tech innovation. When I was growing up, both of my parents actually built tech companies. And by the time I was 27, I actually built my own tech company and also had a consulting company. On a day-to-day -day basis, I was able to be on the front lines of recruitment, engagement, and managing employees day-to-day. -day. Keep your hands raised if all three apply to you. Are you entitled, lazy, and love technology? Gallup Research recently came out with a worldwide study finding that 63% of employees in the workplace are not engaged. And that's what I want to talk to you about. How do you attract, manage, and engage a multi-generational workforce? Now, when we look at this framework, I call it the generational culture alignment. There's different pieces to it. The first step is alignment. Now, looking a little bit deeper at alignment, it comes down to how you relate to another person. Now, I know a lot of you probably have read things on Forbes or uh, Newsweekly about millennials. And the funny thing is that the vast majority of people who talk about millennials are not millennials. One of the problems or one of the reasons why people even bring me in is that they usually have a more senior crowd that's used to doing things a certain way and they need new blood. And they hire someone younger, they come in there and they sort of break the paradigm. Companies all across the world, big or small, struggle with the concept of finding the right talent. Now for me, being a small business owner of around 20 employees, I also struggle with this front. However, I was able to win over talent from places like Chase, Dell, Google to work at a small, no-name company that's only 20 people. So today I wanted to share with you that specific pattern, best practices on how do you actually not only bridge differences, but turn those differences into advantages.